Hi and welcome to Membership Pro. With Membership Pro you're uh, automatically adding members, paying members to uh, I paying customers to your member list. So it's really easy to link uh, for example a product which would be actually a service then or maybe you can even use it for a digital product but it's mainly focused on courses and things like that. So creating access for specific users so how would that work so when we have a look at our pages here created you can see that i have a buy course 2 buy course 1 and then the actual course 2 and course 1 page when you click on the course 2 page you can see that the visibility has been set to groups to only give access to groups and in this case it is group 2 course 2 group group and when we check the course one the visibility has been set to the groups mem group members actually of course one group so that, how does it look at the back end so when you go to the settings and you have the app installed you can click on my apps and then you can see the membership pro right here and you get a manage button when you click on the manage button you get the settings panel coming up there's also a seven day free trial on each installation you can create a customized email we'll get back to it in a moment so you can see that each of your products will be appearing right here I only created two products which would be course 1 and course 2 and then you can select a group those groups are uh, created of course before adding them here so let's link those two and when you click on add you can see that the combination here is showing up. You can also simply remove that, or you can add that. I'm gonna add a course two product to course two group, and we're gonna add that as well. And when we're finished, we're gonna close and return. So having a quick look again at the settings right here, And going to members you do need to show a login register in the site menu although this is not required but it would make it definitely more easy for users revisiting your site to login in case they would have been logged out and you would have to check on allow people to register with your site and uncheck the require approval so as you can see now there are no members yet but i have created two groups though group one and group two course so now we're just gonna publish the site we're gonna have a look at the live site here and then I'm going to buy course one for example we'll add that to cart check out just like that into the checkout process the email that is given in here by your user will be the email that he will receive uh, access to it is possible to change this afterwards but this would have to be manually in Weebly's backend I want to be using my info right here just like this click on next will be redirected to PayPal in this case and I'm going to be using my credentials to pay before doing so I do actually want to really quickly go back to mm, the app itself so and then we're gonna fill in some some custom uh, email text that will show up so you can use some HTML tags and apart from this you got some placeholders that is full name product name and email those are all retrieved from the form you the client fills out before so you can do something like hi full name add a BR tag there to break the line and then you can say thanks for purchasing our product name you can see those tags right here at the top 
we're gonna add another VR tag and then we're gonna say you are now able to log in with your email account and then we can do email which would show the email account and maybe we can move put something like please follow instructions from the invite email email receive email just like this all right then we're going to save that as well close and return just like that and then I'm going to continue the process right here I'll just let's see if this loads making sure that we will receive the email as needed so continue and then we need to wait till everything has been checked here on Weeblizant and then we click commit to buy and then you can see your receipt of course that you got here and I will log in into my email and check for any emails received so just like that <coughs> so as you can see there is an invite and then there is a, an order and a thank you for your order these are for uh, tax purposes and other things uh, like that when you click on the invite email you can see that there is a high equivalence you have been invited to join membership this is default and then you can see also if you want to add some some custom email you can see that text appearing here it says hi uh, nick thanks for purchasing our course one you see those are those two placeholders we added please follow the invite which should be here click here you're now able to log in with your account and then you can also show that email account so then when we click on this link you would be taken to your set your password to create the account on that side so well let's give a password just like that and then continue and you can now log in and the email address is just like that and we're logging in and now you can see here that once being logged in that user that made the payment is immediately able to log in into the pages uh, for which he paid or for the courses or other services so just like that and then you have access to it because uh, those pages are set of course to only for uh, paid members so if you would click on course 2 your access would be denied because that has been set to the other product you can also link of course multiple pages to one product as you can see we can log in here into that site and when we go into the back end of Weebly settings members and then you can see that we have automatically added a new member to our members area i hope this is useful if you got any questions do not hesitate to get in contact thank you